Welcome to Brothers Dhamma. In this video, we are going to learn about Delta Table Operations in Microsoft Fabric Lakehouse. We will be reading a CSV file from the Lakehouse. Then we will be writing it to the Delta Table called the Customer Delta. Then we will perform Insert, Update, Delete operations using a PySpark. Now let's take a look what exactly is the Delta Table. A Delta Table is a storage format that combines the speed of Apache Spark with the reliability of a data warehouse. It allows asset transactions, versioning and time travel. In Microsoft Fabric, Delta Table support scalable read and writes, adaptive schema allowing new columns to be added without breaking the downstream process. Efficient updates and deletes via PySpark, not a SQL endpoint. So from the SQL endpoint, you will not be able to perform inserts, update, deletes, or merge. We'll be using PySpark to perform that, and I will show you in this demo. Now, a very first step, what we would like to do, I'm here in my workspace here and call sales workspace. And here we have one of the lake house called the Tech Brothers Lake House. And uh, then uh, we have some files sitting here and uh, if you go to the files uh, right here we have these tables here and then uh, we have these uh, files here. You can see one of the file uh, will be, uh, let me show you. So if I'll refresh those files here, one of the files is called the sample customers underscore DW and then the other file is called the sample file customers underscore DW underscore one. I will use this one for the merge, but I will use this one very first one to load this file to the table first. So it's going to create some records for us. Let me see why it's not showing the preview, but let's it's okay if it is not showing and we are going to read this file anyways and write to the table. So here is an in the notebook uh, what we are going to do. I'm going to expand that uh, and uh, here same we have uh, attached uh, our uh, uh, lake house here and we see the tables and files here too. So I'm going to expand this a little bit uh, just to show you we have the files here but uh, I'm not going to use this uh, files uh, like this 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 part I'm just going to minimize that so we have space to work here in the notebook. Uh, so but files are here as well. So we are here in this uh, lake house and we have created a new uh, notebook here. So I'm going to minimize this one and uh, now what we are going to do, we are going to read this uh, first file, cust sample customers uh, DW and uh, this is under the files uh, folder you can see right there and uh, the, the path it looks like uh, uh, in the files uh, and the uh, sample uh, customer DW CSV. So if you go to files here, that's the, this is the file. Okay. Now, we, once uh, we read this file uh, and create a data frame, then we can display the data frame and uh, I'm going to just uh, remove this uh, output first uh, so you can run it again and then uh, you will be able to see this uh, output. Uh, you see that we have customer ID, we have first name, last name, uh, uh, country, email, sign up date and uh, total uh, spend. Uh, so from here you can tell uh, like ABC that means uh, that's a string. The, wherever you see ABC it is a string, where you see 1, 2, 3 that's an integer and uh, wherever you see 1.2 that's uh, double uh, and uh, this is our date format. Uh, so that's good. We have this data and uh, then uh, we have uh, 10 rows right here uh, in this uh, the data frame that we just uh, displayed. Now what I want to do, I want to write this data frame to the table called the customer delta. So I'm going to name this everything small because I have uh, also uh, small uh, in the later on in the different cells. Uh. So we can use the df dot write. So that's the write function we can use and format delta and then mode overwrite and save as a table. And this is a table name. Once we execute this one, it's going to write the, all the records from the data frame to our table customer delta. So let's execute that. And I'm going to maximize this part. And here are our tables and I'm going to refresh. So once it's completed, uh, looks like it's successful and uh, here is our table called the customer delta. Now we can uh, go simply and write this query here. I'm using magic command percentage percentage SQL so I can write my Spark SQL language uh, right here. So and uh, I'm saying select uh, asterisk, uh, select everything from uh, my table uh, customer delta. So I can go ahead and execute this query and what's going to happen is going to get all the records uh, from this customer delta table and show me right here. Uh, as of now, we have uh, 10 records uh, and uh, this is how you will be reading the file uh, from uh, the files uh, uh, tab and then uh, creating the delta table. Uh, so very easy, just a uh, two line of code can uh, do that. 
So here we are importing some utilities from a PySpark to build rows and a reference column for the transformation. So we will be doing that one. And here we are building this data. And you can see that if we have defining the row here and another row defining here for our data here. Once this data is defined, so we have customer ID, first name and all that. Then I'm going to create a new data frame called the new underscore DF. Spark to create data frame is used to create the data frame and here I use this data and now I can go ahead and display this data frame and after I do that also I need to convert the data type of this data frame uh, columns. So in this case, uh, what I'm doing here, so I have, uh, uh, I'm creating another uh, data frame called typed df. Uh, new data frame uh, is the one uh, that we just uh, uh, use this uh, data to create. And uh, then uh, I'm saying select uh, column, uh, so casting them integer, string, uh, date, uh, and uh, bullet, depending upon the column uh, uh, types I have it here. So when uh, I will insert this data, I don't uh, get error. That's the reason. So once I have this uh, typed uh, data frame, uh, ready then uh, what I can do type data frame dot write uh, then I can use this uh, to write uh, to the table uh, and in this time I'm using append uh, instead of uh, overwrite uh, because I don't want to uh, truncate the data table uh, and uh, just uh, now I want to write the data you know so I just want to append more data to it uh, and save as the customer uh, delta table and then finally I'm displaying uh, and getting uh, the results from this table uh, to show you if uh, two records are inserted with the ID 111 and 112. So let's execute this uh, and uh, we will see if uh, these records uh, get inserted successfully. So okay so this is showing us uh, the data frame results uh, by this one and the uh, two records are right there and uh, here we can see 12 row rows it means that it has inserted all the records into the table and then we selected all the rows so you can see right there id 111 and 112 so this is how you will append the data so very simple so when you will say uh, data frame whatever the data frame you have then write a format delta and then say mode append when you need to insert a new data to the table and uh, in the very first time you will be overwriting you will, you will be overwriting whatever you have you know the from, from the file to the table now if we would like to update the records in delta table that's very easy as well so here uh, let's say you are uh, defining a uh, delta table and the delta table dot uh, for name and spark and here is the name of a customer delta so we are saving this in a variable and then we are saying delta table dot update and then uh, here is a condition we are saying customer id is equal to 103 and then set the value to the total spend equal to 999 so we are updating a value for id 103 to 999 if i go up here a little bit and i show you the value it is the 99 so if you see right there, it's 99.5. So I'm changing this value to 999. And then finally, once that's done, I'm confirming the records. So I'm using spark.sql and reading this data for this specific ID from the table. And that's how I will make sure that it is a get updated. Okay, our uh, Spark job is completed successfully and we can see that ID 103 and uh, we can uh, scroll on the right side and we can see the total spend is 999. So this is how you will update the record and you see that uh, it is uh, updated. Now let's go ahead and uh, see how we can delete the record from the delta table. Uh, but that's very easy. So here is a delta table dot delete. Uh, and if you notice that uh, then we had a delta table dot update. Uh, here we use it to update the record. Here we will use a delta table that the variable is holding a name of the table. Um, okay. So delta table dot delete and then uh, you say country is equal to UK. Okay, we delete all the records where country is equal to UK and then we are going to say display the records. So we use spark.sql select asterisk from a customer where country is equal to UK. So once it runs it, there should be no record for UK. Now if I show you records here for UK, you can see that one, two, three, four and uh, we have uh, four records for UK. So let's uh, go ahead and uh, delete the records by using uh, 
uh, this uh, cell and then now it's going to go ahead and uh, delete the data so we should get only eight records after that um, so that's done and you can see that this uh, query did not return any result uh, so I'm going to clear this output let's run for every record in this table so select asterisk from customer delta and now it is showing us the uh, eight records uh, and there is no record for UK now that's great we have done uh, uh, we have read uh, the file um, totally first time and uh, created the delta table by using uh, write dot over right here and uh, this was our very first uh, where we use uh, df dot write uh, format delta and mode over right then we use append uh, to insert more records uh, and uh, then uh, we use uh, delta table dot uh, update uh, to update records uh, and uh, then we use a uh, delta table dot delete uh, to delete the records. Now we have come to the point where we are getting a file on daily basis. So think about that. Next day we are getting this file. It's called customer sample customer DW underscore one. And what I want to do, I want to perform upsert. So I want to insert the new records here if there are any. And then if there are no any new records, what I want to do, I want to perform update on the customer ID if the ID is matching but other values are changed. And that's how I want to handle that. So I'm using merge statement here. In the merge, you can see that I have, a, I'm defining a delta table here and then saying data frame and the spark dot read option header true option uh, in first schemas true and dot CSV. So I'm reading this CSV file that's we are getting so think about that this is every day you are going to be this file will be replaced with a new file and you run it to perform upset for your delta table now we can display the this data frame and then i'm performing the uh, cast on this uh, data frame so i'm creating a new data frame called typed df so df dot select and then column column name cast as integer and the string and date and double. So I'm performing the cast on all the columns wherever needed. And then I'm saying delta table, delta table dot from name spark and the name of the table. So I'm telling, hey, reference the target to delta table. Now after that, what I'm saying, delta table dot alias target and using merge here. And then I'm saying typed, that's my data frame here. And then use this one as a source. So use the delta table as the target, okay? And then use this data frame where we loaded this new file, use this as a source. And then say target.customerID equal to source.customerID. So join on that one with the target and source. And if that happen when matched, update all. So if the customer ID is matching with the customer ID, go ahead and update all the records. And when not matched, then insert all the records and then execute. Okay, so let me show you the data in, we have in uh, the, uh, if you remember that we have uh, these uh, IDs 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and uh, goes all the way to 111, but we have only 8 records uh, and uh, for, uh, I'm going to go back here and I'm going to show you right here, give me one second and go to files here and uh, this is our file. So if I go here, let me go to the files here and see if I can open this file. Okay, so you have uh, this uh, C101 ID armor, then I102 Shehzad. So I made some changes, uh, and uh, that's why uh, and uh, I changed all the values 1500, 2001, 901. So I added a one at the end uh, for all of them. Uh, so that's the reason I can go ahead and actually make some more changes. But anyways, uh, um, I have these uh, made changes made and uh, for ID 101, it should uh, update uh, to Amir. For ID 2, it should uh, uh, update to uh, Shahzad. And uh, then uh, also for ID 3 and uh, others, uh, it should be change these values. Uh. So if I'll take you back here and uh, we take a look uh, on the output, uh, last output uh, right here, what's going to happen? So 101 uh, right here actually, this is my old output, so right here. So you see that uh, for 101 is uh, the uh, name is uh, uh, Elise and uh, 102 is Bob and uh, then we have 103 Charlie and uh, the values are 150, 299, okay. So these values should change when we perform uh, this uh, merge. So I'm going to go ahead and execute now and uh, after executing uh, you can see that uh, uh, we have uh, it's uh, completing and in progress right now and uh, once it's done uh, i'm going to clear the output and then show you uh, the output by using select star from that uh, customer table 
and now you should be able to see the uh, here so see that uh, the where customer id was 101 it is uh, now amir where it was uh, bob that is updated to shehzad and if you see right here this value has been updated as well so uh, if you go up and uh, see those values they were something like this and they were like this so this is how you can perform the merge state uh, statement or operation as well you can also perform the delete operation if you like uh, in the merge but in my uh, scenario there wasn't needed so i went with the only uh, upsert so insert new records and uh, perform update on old records but you got the idea what is the delta table in uh, lake house in the fabric and how we can read the csv from the files tab and load to the tables tab and once you load the tables tab what happened it create a delta table and then we can perform all different operations by using the uh, PySpark. So I hope uh, you learned something uh, new in this uh, video and it will be helpful for you and uh, I see actually a lot of scenarios here where people load the data to the this uh, files uh, that you can call it a store, uh, staging area and the daily files comes uh, and then you have notebook written uh, and then you can schedule the notebook to write the data to the delta table and then uh, once the data is in the delta table you can use Power BI to create your reports. Uh. I thank you very much for watching the video. Please subscribe my channel and I will see you guys in the next video.